hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel tech chat today i'm going to talk about the how to install a virtual machine in oracle virtual box manager so here first i need to download the red hat uh, iso image so then i will create a v virtual machine in oracle virtual box manager so then i will attach the iso image to that virtual machine and boot from it so then i will have a virtual machine with a red, uh, red hat operating system so actually so today i'm going to give an example for the virtualization actually here not the real virtualization but this is this is a example for virtualization so if you have not watched my virtualization video please go and uh, understand what is the virtualization so here uh, i will brief it so in virtualization you have the hardware layer on hardware you have the hypervisor layer so hypervisor layer gives you the opportunity to create multiple operating system on the uh, hypervisor layer it means that you have the you will can install multiple virtual machine with any operating system you wish to have so that's the virtualization so today i'm going to uh, show you how to create a virtual machine in oracle virtual box vm manager in oracle virtual vm oracle virtual box vm manager you can create any virtual machine and you can any add, uh, install any operating system you wish so today we will create a virtual machine for a red hat uh, operating system so okay now i we need to download the red hat operating system so open your browser now type download red hat iso image and press enter okay now it will suggest few sites and press run select it's the developers.redhat.com so click on that link now okay now you will pop up the site now i need to ask, uh, create account for this now i'm in download page but i need to create account first okay now uh, click on login from right hand side now i need to give the red hat login email but here i have uh, i already have an account but I, I need to show you how to create account so on the bottom side you can see register for red hat account now click on that so now you can create account choose a red hat login so simply add here your name like tech chat now add here your email address like tech chat 75 at gmail.com okay like this you can add your information your job role so here please add as a student and select a strong password here then you can click i have a create the term and condition then click create account i have already created the account so i will not create it then it will send a activation email to your mailbox so guys then after please click on that link to activate your uh, red hat account okay guys okay and now i will go back to the login page i already have account for this that's the tech chat so i will click next and then i will add my password so like that you can access your red hat account so after you give the password so you will access your red hat uh, account so now you can see download page and here you are options available to download iso image so here i need to download iso image but remember that i i already have download iso image red hat 7.7 so guys i will not download again but i will show you something here so uh, how to download it so click on download tab so it will pop up a new window to add some extra information so it's simple guys you need to add to a first name last name and company name and i uh, please add this address and no problem so then come to job title and add your phone number and add your country region india australia pakistan address line one and city so if it is a star mark there so you must add that information so others it's not much needed to add then uh, click on this one and then submit so after that guys you can download it will pop up the download wizard so i am not going to download it again so please download dvd iso image uh, with operating system you wish okay so then guys uh, i have downloaded my iso, ISO image so i don't need to download it again okay so now i'm going to show you how to create a virtual virtual machine in uh, oracle virtual box vm manager okay guys i will open the oracle virtual box vm manager okay now you can see i have already created a virtual machine for tech chat underscore web server so 
guys uh, here uh, i think i uh, i i i talk about how to install the oracle virtual box manager in a previous video so please go and watch my video on the cloud engineering video series okay now i'm going to create a virtual machine so please click on new so this is asking for a virtual machine so please input your virtual machine name i'm going to add as check chat email server and it is asking for machine folder keep the default one now it is asking for the type so this is a linux one so click linux and the version is it's a red hat one with 64 bit okay where is red hat okay this is six red hat 64 okay click next now it is asking for the memory so remember one thing that the virtual machine is running on oracle virtual box manager and oracle virtual box manager on the, is managing by the other win my own windows operating system and it is uh, the underlying hardware layer is same for both operating system even i installed virtual machine with red hat and my current operating system on my computer is also utilizing same uh, same underlying uh, resources so hardware resources so so my computer has 8 gb memory card so i i can't read that 8 gb so then i have to select some memory less than that so here i have selected one gig it is for 1024 mb so i click next now it is asking for the hard disk yes we need hard disk so create a virtual hard disk and click create now it is asking for the hard disk type VDI for virtual box disk image. So this is the default one because we are creating on this virtual box manager. For so if you wish to as example, you have three options VMDK for virtual machine disk. This is for the VMBR virtual disk. So I don't need, we, we, we are not using any other virtual machine software. So we can leave the, uh, the setting unchanged. Okay, click on next. Now it is asking how to allocate storage space. Storage means the your hard drive. If you are using Windows operating system, it is the your uh, Windows C drive, D drive. So these are your space. We call it as hard disk. So we can allocate the space from the storage uh, uh, for this virtual machine. So we have two options how to add. Peak size means that if you add 100 GB, so your virtual machine will allocate 100 GB from your hard disk. It means it's completely allocated only for your virtual machine. So if we choose dynamically allocate, let's say I, I create a hard disk with 100 GB, but option is dynamically allocate. So then it will not utilize a total 100 GB. If I utilize, uh, if I have uh, only uh, 10 GB, uh, 10 GB utilization on my virtual machines, then it uh, it will allocate only 10 GB. So it will increase the utilization as we use. But if we select pick size, it will completely allocate that total space to our virtual machine. So uh, as uh, here, the best option is dynamically allocate. So I will click on next. Okay, create virtual hard disk. So how much hard disk space, how much storage space you need? So I will keep it as the, I will select it as uh, eight, uh, 16 GB. So now I create my virtual machine. Okay, now my virtual machine has been created. Take chat email server. So I need to add the ISO image. So I will click on start. Now it will for pump the CD DVD drive to add the downloaded ISO image. Okay, now it is asking for here. I have downloaded this image previously and I had added it for the tech chat underscore web server underscore web underscore web underscore, underscore web underscore server so now i don't need to edit it again it is automatically pop up the downloaded one but if you are first time using this you have to click on this uh, folder icon then you have to give the location of the uh, location of your uh, iso image so now i have selected it and i will click on next nice start okay now it is starting the uh, my uh, operating system. So I have three options here install Red Hat Media Enterprise Linux 747 and troubleshooting and test this media So from the arrow key, I will select uh, you can see white color So I will select install hard Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.7 present on it. So now it will start to uh, Install the Red Hat 7.7 operating system. So I will maximize this and I am waiting for the uh, I'm waiting load in the uh, setup okay then after i have to add some information like root password and my create user account and add to keyboard setting language so this kind of setting i need to add so i'm waiting for that guys it will take few minutes
Okay, now guys, the setup was often for me. So now I need to add the what is a lambda. So I guys, so I need to uh, select the uh, language I wish. If you uh, click continue, so it will ask in for the okay virtual box manage information. You have clicked the mouse inside the virtual machine display. Okay, so now we are trying to move our mouse pointer to virtual machine display. So then it is asking for the can we capture this into the virtual machine display okay click capture but remember that if you need to go out from this display you need to press host key so the default host key is the uh, uh, if you come here so default host key is this one with this symbol so it is a right control it means on your keyboard right hand side you have a control button plus control button from right hand side then you can come out from this virtual machine display okay now i will give the capture so then my mouse pointer will uh, pop up from the this virtual machine display okay give capture now i'm here i can't go out until i click right control okay now i select lamb uh, i don't need to change the language so then i will click continue now i need to add the date and time so guys simply click on that symbol come here and select in the R. So I'm in the region. Okay, Kolkata, Asia, Kolkata. So uh, give done. And keyboard, come there. Nothing to change. And English US, the language, nothing to change. And done. And you come to installation source, it's local media. So you need nothing to change those things. Done. And software selection. Oh, this is very important. So we ask a minimal installation. That means you have the only see a uh, command line view only. But here we need the graphical view. So on the bottom you can see serve with GUI. Then it will load the add-ons for the selected environment. We can, can uh, we can set up this as the backup server, DNS name, some email server. But uh, actually I'm here trying to here create as an email server. But I don't select this option here because I do I need to show you how to do this in future videos. So let's uh, let's bring the uh, serve with GUI. So then click on turn. Okay, now, okay, guys, let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, okay, guys, now it is uh, that we have to do the system configuration, installation, destination. So we need no, nothing to change. Okay, if it's same, uh, okay, and uh, network can host name. So I can uh, select my, uh, yeah, when we create a virtual machine, it is, it is automatically create a virtual network card. It help us to reach the internet, reach the, uh, reach the net, uh, net internet simply. So okay. So if you need to change any configuration, uh, click on configure. So come here. Now you can see your interface. You can change the name and you can uh, uh, some other change configuration. So if you come to IP for sitting here DHCP, it means you have uh, you uh, my 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 Red Hat machine will assign the IP address automatically. So I need to add a manual one. Click manual and then we can configure. But I don't need to change this because this is for a testing so cancel this and if i need to change this, this configuration in future i can simply do it with accessing the my red hat virtual machine okay click on turn and now i will no need to change the kda and security policy so let's begin the installation okay now till the packages are installed and other changes other configurations are completed we can set root password so simply click on root password so we can add the root password we wish okay now click done now if we need to add the user so simply come uh, create a new user and add the username i'm going to create a user with tech chat and I will add a, I will make this as administrator user. So if you don't tick this, this user is not administrator user and we can't run every command. We can't do many changes. But if I click here, so this is administrator account. This has privilege and we can go to the uh, root, uh, root view anytime. So, so here I will add. So make, uh, and remember that even we don't tick this, after that, we can access uh, our Red Hat uh, virtual machine using root password. Then we can make this use as an admin account. So you must not need to add these changes 
at the beginning we can change those things after the installation okay i will add a password okay click on done okay guys this will uh, take few minutes to complete let's wait for that okay guys now it was completed the installation of red hat 7.7 .7. now we need to reboot this virtual machine so click on reboot after reboot this will open the graphical user interface of red hat 7.7 .7. okay guys it's asking about the licensing so now it's the operating system asking for that license not accepted so now click on that okay so i have to accept the license agreement so i miss it previously so i accept the license agreement and i click on done okay now let's finish the configuration okay guys now uh, my uh, virtual machine was loaded successfully so here i have the tech chat user so if not i can access to another user i will go through the root user so enter username as root and then add your password so i will add my password okay guys this is the view of the my red hat 7.7 .7 virtual machines so i have successfully logged into this virtual machine now i will show something here so you can see home folder so this is the home directory so if you open the cli you can see those uh, directories from cli also so i will show you how to open the CLI. This is a graphical use interface. This is, you can use this as your normal Windows operating system. So you have the uh, Firefox and other things. Uh, then you can simply do anything as in uh, Windows operating system. But now I'm going to show you how to uh, use the uh, command line interface. Okay. I'm going to show you how used to terminal. I'm sorry, this is we call we don't call this as the command line interface. It's on we call this as the terminal. Okay, it is asking for some initial configuration, chain of initial setup. Okay, press select English and press next and keep the default values and click next. Okay. Uh, allow this application to manage digital production location. Okay, do I not need to it and click on next? Okay, connect your online account. I don't uh, need to add them. I skip. Okay, you are ready to go. Okay, guys, now I will show you how to. Uh, okay, it's asking for Chinami. Okay, I don't need to uh, change it. I will close this. And I will show you how to open the terminal. Click on application and come to the terminal. So this is we give you the terminal. If we did not select the graphical user interface mode, so we will not have a graphical GUI. We will only have the uh, terminal like this. We can do anything now using terminal. We must, we don't need to have a GUI, but in some users need the GUI because most of them are used to using Windows. 
so if you have the gui we can easily understand what we need to do but uh, remember that uh, in the it industry most of people have not enabled the gui they are working with this uh, terminal it's it's not a uh, it's not difficult to do it's it's easy to do so we will talk about how to uh, use the linux uh, red hat terminal so in future videos you can uh, you can understand how can we do that part okay so i will show you something so here you can see root at localhost localhost means that my host name i will type a command host name so it will show my host name okay localhost dot local domain so that's why it's showing uh, my host name okay so i need to change my host name host name and my domain name it's simply my domain uh, my server name tech chat dot and uh, i will add as doc tech chat okay okay no problem now my host name is simply tech chat au i will close this terminal and i will open a new terminal so you can see that part my host name has been changed to tech chat so guys uh, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much